Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Pregnant with PCOS. Um, I'm doing my bump day. It's for week 12 and 13. I'm actually starting week 14. I don't know how it works. Is it, am I starting week 14? Or am I at the end of week 14? I think it's the start of week 14. Um, so I'm at the start of week 14 today. Um, so, and on, um, at week 13, we did a, another ultrasound. We went to the doctor. I have some more pictures, but they're not as great as last time. They're a lot darker. That's the best one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the best one. Oh, but they're kind of dark. I don't know. I wish it could be, like, a lot brighter. The other one was a lot brighter, I feel. Okay. So, I'm going to do measurements of baby he or she we still don't know yet so uh it's the baby is 3.39 inches three point so almost basically almost four inches like i don't know <laughs> i don't know almost four inches um and then the baby weighs 1.50 ounces and it's like the size of a peach whatever that is. Um, so that's really exciting. Uh, at the appointment, the, uh, she said that baby was measuring perfect for my due date. My due date is July 25th, which is exciting. And I feel like it's kind of coming fast. Um, because now we're kind of looking at starting a registry and starting to look at baby stuff. And man, there is a lot of baby stuff out there. And like, what do you choose? What do you use? Like, it's kind of overwhelming. Uh, but, okay, baby update or bump date. Um, so, how for long? How big is baby? I did that. Um, symptoms. Um, I'm actually not having very many symptoms. I just kind of feel like sometimes when I sit down, there's pressure. Or sometimes I feel like a little, like, sh like a stretching. But that's completely normal. They said that I'm going to ha have, uh, I think, ligament pains just because I'm going to be stretching. But Ryan says that he is definitely pregnant because he's like, why do I have all the symptoms? I'm always hungry. I don't feel good. And I'm thinking, you're just a man. <laughs> but uh, another symptom is, uh, which I'll get to that. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but peeing. A lot but not even like I don't even pee a lot I don't feel like I pee a lot during the day but man at night I'm going like I'm getting up three to almost four times a night like every two hours pretty much and I'm thinking like what is it's a lot of getting up and down but I don't really feel tired during the day really so I guess it's not affecting my sleep too much um, so I just basically went over sleep. I am pr pretty much sleeping good. I'm just waking up frequently to go to the bathroom. Um, acne. Definitely have some spots today and on, over here. So acne is right on track. They say on week 14 that I'm supposed to get more like thicker hair. So I hope that comes in. <laughs> Check in two weeks when I do another bump date. <laughs> so hopefully I'll get some a little bit thicker hair. Let's see. So you know my hair ain't thick. Um, but acne definitely on the face. Nowhere else because I know sometimes people get it on their shoulders or the back. But I don't have any of it. It's just on my face. Um, am I missing anything? Not specifically. I mean of course I would love to eat like of course sushi and stuff but I've been kind of leaning away from that which I will tell you in a little bit what I've been actually eating to kind of like combat that <laughs> basically um food cravings so that is what I'm gonna get you into it's it's not really sushi anymore but like crab legs <laughs> I lunch eat as many crab legs as I can it is so good just crack them, and then you eat them with some butter, and um, 
oh god they're just so good yeah crab legs definitely been craving and wanting those but other than that um I've been kind of eating a little bit more like candy but I think it's just because it's in the house I'm not like oh I need to go out and get candy but I'm like oh there's some candy I'm gonna eat it um I think that's it for cravings nothing crazy I feel like my pregnancy is really easy I mean like knock on wood I don't have any wood but I feel like it's actually pretty easy at least so far so hopefully it stays like that but I feel like I'm blessed to have such an easy pregnancy so far um, I mean I've had some scares but physically it's actually been um, easy so uh, am I avoiding any foods um no there's just some things that I'm just not eating just because I'm like oh, that doesn't sound good but not because it's making me sick oh that's okay let me go back symptoms uh, in between like at 13 weeks the start of 13 weeks or is it between 12 and 13 weeks I actually did get sick there was a day I was completely sick the whole day I threw up three times like but it wasn't actually that bad so um, but I'm thankful that's gone and sometimes in the morning I feel a little nauseousness but I drink a little water, eat a little bread, and then I'm good. I bought saltines, which, just in case. Sorry, I went off track. Um, mm, am I looking forward to anything? Um, finding out what the sex is, of course. I'm actually, uh, in California, they call it Panorama. That does, like, the blood test where it does, like, genetics uh, tells you about the X's and Y's of the of what the baby has and then it tells you um, the sex of the baby like 99.9% .9 sure so I want to do that I'm just lazy to call the doctor and to set it up you know you know how I'm lazy right um, but I really want to do that because no matter if I find out if I go to an ultrasound and I find out before the blood test I still want to do the blood test because the ultrasound cannot be a hundred percent so if I got the blood test and the ultrasound both said if it's a girl or if it's a boy then I would have more of a hundred percent because I have a real fear that you know they might say it's a girl and then it comes out a boy like I don't know if other people have that but like that's a real fear of mine <laughs> buy a bunch of girl stuff or boy stuff and then it comes back comes out the opposite sex um um, looking forward to and then am I scared of anything? Um, I mean, I think a lot of people are nervous about like delivering, but I'm trying to not think about that yet because it's kind of kind of far away still. Um, but I have a fear of like not picking out like the right baby stuff because you know how many strollers are at Babies R Us? There's like fifty you could look at. And I'm thinking like, well, which one's the safest? Which one's going to be the most practical for me? And I'm like, I'm not going to know until the baby's here, but I'm already have this stuff. So that's like kind of hard, like picking out, I feel like picking out the right baby stuff and the baby stuff, you know, I'm actually going to use and, you know, hopefully my baby's going to like, you know, that's kind of a fear. Um, moody or happy. Um... I feel like I've been pretty happy. I've been trying to check myself if I'm kind of grumpy. But a lot of the times I'm finding that a lot of people, like, I'll say, like, oh, I want to do this for the baby. And they'll be like, no, well, what about this? You know, what about, and give me other suggestions, which is very nice. But I'm like, stop. I'm going to do it how I want to do it. You know, like, I just, like, stop talking. This is how it's going to happen. Don't give me suggestions. I know I'm going to have to deal with that a lot, but that's how I've been kind of feeling lately. Like, you know, just with suggestions is like, okay, I want this dresser. Well, what if you get this dresser? Or, you know, what if you do this? It's like, no, I'm going to get that dresser. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me being bossy. Definitely could be a thing. 
Okay, next one, hair. Hair is, um, I did get it dyed, which the woman, it was, so she did definitely dye it, but it wasn't as blonde as I wanted, because look at how blonde this is, and then like, I mean, you can't really tell, but I feel like right here is still pretty dark compared to here and down, because I feel like she let more of the blonde, like put more blonde in it, and that's what I'll do next time. Is that I'll have her like put more blonde in it. That's, and hair still thin. Hopefully, you know, it gets thickened up in the next six months. <laughs> Let's hope. <laughs> um, uh, any spotting? I haven't had any spotting, I think, uh, since I got sick, which I think you guys already heard about that. But I haven't had any spotting. But what I did have, what I. Thought, thought was weird but I know that it could happen is like it was some discharge it's kind of TMI when I wiped it was like a loogie on the toilet paper so I was like mm, that's kind of weird but it looked like a lot like a loogie <laughs> and I told my husband that and he goes a loogie and I said I know I don't know what that's from <laughs> okay and then I'm gonna skip belly for right now but then I wanted to go to um Am I wearing maternity clothing? And I am not. I don't know if I will because I am plus size. So a lot of times it seems like a lot of plus size people can wear the regular clothes for a lot longer rather than uh, thinner people. Um, so nothing like, um, so no maternity clothes. But I do, I think, want to get like a, I don't know, a shirt says like coming soon. Or to like let people know that I'm pregnant because... I feel like a lot of people at work know, but I'm like, I'm not showing, like, I don't know, is that weird? Like, I feel like I'm lying to them because they can't see it. <laughs> but it's so true. Like, I feel like I w wouldn't know I was pregnant if I didn't, like, see an ultrasound and, like, because I don't feel pregnant. I don't know. I told somebody that and they were like, really? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do a belly shot. Give me a minute. So I don't know, ow, <laughs> I don't know, if, I don't feel like I'm bigger. Let me put that down. I mean, do you think I'm bigger? Let me not try to suck in. <laughs> why, why am I trying to suck in? Let me sit it, stand up straight. I mean, maybe a little bit chunkier, but like, I'm sorry, I'm wearing black, but I don't feel like I'm very round. I mean, of course I'm round, you know. <laughs> but, um, let me get back here. Um, I don't feel like I look pregnant. I know I talked to one of my um, co-workers and she goes, you don't even look like you're showing. And I'm like, I know. So, I, um, I'm assuming I'll probably show, like, closer to 20 weeks, I'm thinking. Because I am so big, I guess. Oh, and another positive note. When I went to the doctors, I lost five pounds. Which, of course, I wasn't trying. But since I was sick, I think that kind of helped me. So that helps me with the hopefully not gaining so much weight through my pregnancy. Because the doctor said... Ugh. So, the first doctor I had said, don't gain any weight. And then the next doctor said only 5 to 10 pounds. So that to me was such a positive because, you know, when you're pregnant, you just want to eat. So hopefully you guys like this bump date. And let me know what other um, videos you want to see because I really don't have any other ideas because I'm definitely not an expert on babies or baby stuff because it's my first one and it's super scary and exciting. So... Yeah, let me know and subscribe to my journey. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching.